coming up on Retiring Well. What questions do you really want to ask an advisor? And uh, a couple of those, there are actually some trick questions. What are some of the questions that you want to ask uh, in order to identify that? Well, Mike, interesting enough, it's, it's not so much the questions I might ask them, because a lot of times, if I'm looking at it, I don't know what questions they ask, right? But what I want to pay attention to is what questions are they asking me? We want somebody on the team that's going to be looking at that year after year uh, to know that you're trying to keep taxes to a minimum and then also for not only your lifetime but potentially passing to um, a spouse or family. Retiring Well, helping you make smart decisions with your money so you can live a better life. Today is the day you can take back control of your money. Retiring Well, where we believe your best is yet to come. Welcome to Retiring Well. I'm your host, Michael Reese. We've got a great show lined up for you this week. We are going to talk about things that you need to think about when you're trying to find a financial advisor. Now, maybe you're the kind of person that does things yourself, but if you want to have, if you want to work with a financial advisor, there are some things you need to know. In fact, we talk about it right here in our best-selling book, Retiring Well, How to Enjoy Retirement in Any Economy, number one in its category on Amazon. We're very proud of that. That was really neat. Uh, but right here on page 215, 215, there's a whole section on finding an advisor and what to look for. For. And really, there's three things that you need to think about. We're going to talk about them on this show. It's in the book, but we're also going to talk about it on the show. So number one, we want to talk a little bit um, about what questions do you really want to ask an advisor? And uh, a couple of those, there are actually some trick questions where you would say, okay, you're, you might think that you would expect one thing, but you're really going to want to hear something else. You know, like when you ask, for example, Gosh, can you give me some references? That's a trick question that we're going to talk about. You might think that you're going to get one answer, but you're really looking for a different one. Well, the second thing that you really want to know is, are you a fiduciary? Now, there are two standards of care in the financial industry. There's what's called suitability and there's fiduciary. We'll talk about both of those. You want a fiduciary. Here's the problem. Every advisor wants you to think they're a fiduciary, yet only a fraction, a small percentage of them are a fiduciary. How do you tell the difference? How do you really know if someone's a fiduciary? And why is that so important anyway? We're going to talk about that. And then third, we're going to talk about if you're sports-minded, uh, We'll talk a little bit about the playbook. You know, what kind of playbook do they operate from? Some advisors, it's a pretty skinny playbook. For example, there are some advisors out there where if you go work with them, all they have are mutual funds, right? So when we talk about a playbook, it's what kind of tools do you have available to work with? You know, another way to think about it is how big is your toolbox? You know, how many tools do you have in there? You have a lot of tools or just a few? Maybe you only have mutual funds. Is that someone we'll want to work with? Or maybe it's one of these people they are insurance oriented where all they do are you know, annuities and life insurance. Is that who you want to work with? Or do you want to work with someone that's got a really big playbook with every tool available? I think the answer there is pretty obvious. But the reality is those are the three things you need to know. It's what we're going to talk about today. You know, Number one, right? Number one, we want to talk about what questions to ask. Are they a fiduciary? What's their playbook look like? So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Listen, are you an employee who is participating in a 401k plan? Are you aware that in some cases, you may be able to roll out of the plan even though you're still working? Are you tired of the choices you have and possibly the lack of professional help in getting you to your retirement goals? If you're looking for an alternative approach to help you protect your hard-earned retirement savings, then we may be able to help. You may be entitled to an in-service rollout of your 401k plan. 
a rollover to a self-directed IRA may be an appropriate solution for you. Contact us at Centennial Wealth Advisory today. Take control of your retirement. Centennial Wealth Advisory can help. Please call the number on the screen. face today's retirement challenges? Are you prepared for potential market corrections and economic downturns? Are you implementing viable tax strategies to reduce your liability and protect your assets? Are you able to make informed decisions to safeguard your retirement savings and income? Centennial Wealth Advisory presents Mastering Today's Retirement Challenges. We are Northern Michigan's financial advisors specializing in retirement planning with offices in Traverse City, Petoskey, and Gaylord. And we invite you to an informative presentation with a complimentary gourmet dinner. Learn how to use the new tax reform to your advantage. The best way to generate lifetime income. How to identify and manage financial challenges. How to maintain growth opportunities and reduce risk. And much more. Call 888-608-5825 to register and choose the date and location that works best for you. Tuesday, October 23rd at Boone's Long Lake Inn in Traverse City. Thursday, October 25th at the At Siegel Club and Resort in Gaylord. Or Tuesday, October 30th at Boone's Long Lake Inn in Traverse City. Presentations start at 6 p.m. and are free to attend with a complimentary gourmet dinner to follow. But seating is limited and fills quickly. Call 888-608-5825 to reserve your seats today. There is no cost and no obligation. Don't miss this important presentation, Mastering Today's Retirement Challenges. Call 888-608-5825 today. Welcome back. As you can see, I have Larry Flynn, uh, one of the lead advisors at Centennial Wealth Advisory, sitting with me with offices in Northern Michigan. And, you know, Larry, this week we're talking about one of the chapters in our best selling book, Retiring Well. We're talking about finding an advisor. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and we had talked about, you know, it's about the questions you ask and, and are they fiduciary or, or not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's our playbook? So why don't we start at the beginning with sure. the, you know, when you're interviewing a financial advisor and you're trying to figure out, hey, is this a person that's good for you? Mm -hmm. What are some of the questions that you want to ask uh, in order to identify that? Well, Mike, interesting enough, it's, it's not so much the questions I might ask them, because a lot of times if I'm looking at advice, I don't know what questions to ask, right? But what I want to pay attention to is what questions are they asking me? So what do you mean by that? It's really interesting. Give me some examples of what you're thinking there. Well, if I, if I walk in, I'm, I'm talking to a financial advisor. I don't know them from Adam, and they don't know me from Adam, right? And the first thing they want to do is talk about what they do and how they do it, their playbook per se, right? And they've not asked any questions of me regarding what I want, what are my needs, how I feel about things. Very important questions as far as I'm concerned, because if, they, if I feel like they're paying attention to what my needs and wants are and really have an idea, you know, what I'm trying to accomplish, then I think I can trust a little bit more what they're putting me in, right? Right. So what you're saying is if you walk into a new person, a new advisor, you don't know them, they don't know you. And the first thing they want to do is tell you about, here's how great we are and here's what we do. Who cares? What, what matters? It's well, Matt, it's what, what's important to you. Right. If I'm sitting here and I'm somebody that's very risk adverse, you know, I, I may have lost a lot of money in a way. I don't want to see that happen again. And they're showing me, you know, uh, their great growth portfolio that's going to get me 20% per year for, you know, um, I'm a little concerned that maybe they don't really truly understand, you know, how I might feel about that. Right. Might not be a fit. So might not be a fit. what's, and, and what about, I've heard you also talk about this where, where you kind of say you, you've had people come in and and as they describe working with someone new it seems like 
they go see a financial advisor and the first thing that's happening is, okay, give me a copy of your statements. Um, let's ask you a bunch of risk profile questions. Right. Is that really, is that really in the client's best interest or is that, are there other things going on there? Well, you want to be leery there. Okay. Cause yet, you know, depending on who you're working with, but, but if you're most typically working with an advisor who just meets the suitability standard, you talked about this in the intro, what are they trying to do? They're just trying to, they want to make sure that whatever they sell you is suitable to you, right? right? So they have some test in which they have to, you know, go through to make sure that when they sell this to you, it's suitable, right? Okay. But that's not doesn't necessarily mean that was in your best interest or that's right. what you wanted or needed. Yeah, I love these uh, risk profile questionnaires because I think at the end of the day, they're just trying to put you into some cookie cutter outcome. Sure, right and sure. and are those really ever best for you or are they really best for you know the the person you're dealing with yeah not necessarily best for you i i've looked at these risk profile questionnaires and i've gone through and answered the questions where i thought most people who are soon to be retired or retired would answer and then i'm surprised that the the recommendation that they were making accordingly um if i was somebody who was very risk adverse or didn't want to lose a lot it was not not appropriate yeah, now I've got a little bit of a question for you. This is a change the topic a little bit. So here you've got, you know, I keep reading in these magazines about how when you interview a new financial advisor, here's a list of questions to ask them. Sure. And one of those questions they always recommend is ask that advisor for references. Right. How, what is your, you know, what's your perspective of that? Well, first of all, if they're somebody that meets the fiduciary standard of care, you're not supposed to give those out. Okay, so I would be very leery. And here's the other thing, if they're gonna give you references, you know they're giving you their best right. ones anyway. So, so if I'm a prospect and I say, Larry, can I get some references of clients that have worked with you? As a fiduciary, did you say you're not legally, I mean, you can't give those out, can you? Well, with their permission, you can. So, you know, they can be done, but let's face it, if it's just a, you know, what, what you'll typically see is, yeah, here's a list of, you know, five, six names, and it's their standard five, six names they're going to give right. you every time, you know. So. So it sounds to me like it's probably uh, uh, bumping against the privacy bubble anyway, That's probably right. best not to go there. That's right. Right? That's right. Okay. So, Toolbox, we only have a few seconds left here. Okay. What do we want to watch out for with a playbook toolbox when you ask advisors about that? Listen, you know, um, we've had two market crashes in, in recent memory, right? 2000, 2002, and 2008. Market dropped to half its value. Adjustments are necessary, okay, in this kind of an environment. You know, you have to identify it. What is that advisor doing? Is he playing by the old same playbook he played back? with before way back when is way he making updates when. has he made adjustments right if i'm in a ball game and i go to the locker room at halftime what are they doing they're strategizing they're trying to do something different we there's ne it's necessary in this environment to be doing something different and that's what it's all about yep. not the same old thing not the same old all right larry great information thank you much folks got an action-packed show here don't go anywhere we'll be right back Have you ever heard of the 5% rule? Simple, consistently earn 5% each year and then take 5% as income. Great, but in this new economy and market volatility, does it work? If I need 5% as income from my savings and the market drops 30% in one year, then the 5% I need now turns to 7.1%. Now I have to consistently get 7.1% or more or drop my income accordingly. If interested in a properly structured income plan, then please call the number on the screen. Are you ready to face today's retirement challenges? Are you prepared for potential market corrections and economic downturns? Are you implementing viable tax strategies to reduce your liability and protect your assets? Are you able to make informed decisions to safeguard your retirement savings and income? Centennial Wealth Advisory presents Mastering Today's Retirement Challenges. We are Northern Michigan's financial advisors specializing in retirement planning with offices in Traverse City, Petoskey, and Gaylord. And we invite you to an informative presentation with a complimentary gourmet dinner. Learn how to use the new tax reform to your advantage. The best way to generate lifetime income. How to identify and manage financial challenges. 
how to maintain growth opportunities and reduce risk, and much more. Call 888-608-5825 to register and choose the date and location that works best for you. Tuesday, October 23rd at Boone's Long Lake Inn in Traverse City. Thursday, October 25th at the Atsego Club and Resort in Gaylord. Or Tuesday, October 30th at Boone's Long Lake Inn in Traverse City. Presentations start at 6 p.m. and are free to attend with a complimentary gourmet dinner to follow. But seating is limited and fills quickly. Call 888-608-5825 to reserve your seats today. There is no cost and no obligation. Don't miss this important presentation, Mastering Today's Retirement Challenges. Call 888-608-5825 today. Hi, thanks for joining us in this segment of Chalk Talk. Listen, today Mike and I have been talking about you know, how to find the right advisor, you know, what questions to ask um, potentially them in, in vetting or maybe seeing, uh, you know, if they're maybe the right fit for you. But most importantly, paying attention to actually what questions they're asking you. Um, it's, it's those kind of questions that can lead you to believe if they really care about your needs, maybe your wants, you know, are they really listening to what it is they think you want and then investing you appropriately. Okay. So how you do that, um, is going to be very, very important because your relationship with an advisor has to be of the utmost trust. Um, and what does that mean? That means you have to trust that they are acting in your best interest and not potentially just their own. Now, a fiduciary advisor, their focus is always going to be you, the client, what you want, what you need, and then putting the proper financial instruments in place that meet those wants and needs. Typically, those that are fiduciaries are independent, meaning they, can, they have, as Mike called it, a vast array of financial instruments or tools in their toolbox. Okay, If I'm an insurance agent, what do I think is the answer to all your problems? Probably insurance in one way, shape, form, or another, right? If I'm a warehouse, I'm somebody selling stocks, bonds, mutual funds, what do I think is the answer to all your problems? Most likely stocks, bonds, mutual funds. When you're looking for a fiduciary, they're typically independent. They can sell a vast array of financial instruments that meet different, different needs accordingly. So again, pay very close attention to you know, who you're working with, vet them out appropriately, make sure it's somebody that you can trust that's acting in your best interests. Now, having watched the market drop to half its value now twice, in the last couple decades, the first time 2000 through 2002, we watched it drop to half its value in about a two and a half year period. 2008, we watched it drop to half its value in a 15 month period. So now we've got, we've got a situation where you got, st the stock market has been highly volatile. We've had some very good times, but we've had some very bad times, right? And then take the other side of the equation when it comes to fixed income accounts or bonds, we've been historically for a long period of time in a declining interest rate market, which has been really good for bonds because as interest rates go down, bond values increase. The problem is, is we are now entering a rising interest rate market and as interest rates rise, bond values can go down. So historically, Looking at this, looking back, having watched the market drop to half its value a couple times, watching now a rising interest rate market where we might see bond values go down, do you think advisors would maybe be doing something different? If you're watching a basketball game, you're watching a football game, what is it they do when they go to the locker room at halftime? Think about it. Most of you agree, they're strategizing, right? They're strategizing. If they weren't winning in the first half, they're trying to figure out a way to keep that lead in the second half, right? But if they're losing in the first half, what are they doing? They're trying to strategize to see how can they win in the second half, all right? So again, hindsight being 20-20, We've watched the, the markets and their volatility. We're now entering a rising interest rate market. Again, 
Do you think advisors might be playing by a different playbook? We're finding more times than not, as we have portfolios come in, as we're analyzing those portfolios, what we're finding is that no, they have not. They are still playing by the same playbook. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. Listen, with the new market realities we find ourselves in, there is, there is plenty of reasons to, to find reasons to make adjustments to change. One, how do I handle volatile markets when it's going down? You know, if I'm trying to protect income and I'm trying to make sure that, you know, if I'm taking income, I'm not seeing my, mark, my, my account drop to half its value while I'm trying to do so, then what kind of accounts might I use to, to, to minimize that downside? Now, sometimes that may be um, using uh, insurance products or different financial instruments that give us those kind of guarantees. Now, if I'm, if I'm also looking at a situation where I would traditionally maybe move into fixed income accounts or bonds, right, when they used to pay six, seven percent, but now find that you'll be much lower, what kind of investment instruments might I use to give me, you know, a, a safer income, again, without any downside? There's a lot, a vast array of financial instruments out there, all with different purposes that meet different situations in different ways. The key is, again, going back to what you want and need and then putting the proper financial instruments in place that meet those needs. The key is gonna be a whole new game plan in these new market realities we find ourselves in. So I encourage you that if you haven't, you wanna find out if you're positioned right in this kind of a market to come in and see us so we can maybe talk, about, talk to you about how maybe we're handling that situation. Hi, it's Michael Reese here. I have in my hands a copy of our number one best-selling book on Amazon in its category, Retiring Well, How to Enjoy uh, Retirement in Any Economy. In this book, we cover the four big areas of retirement planning, income planning, investment planning, tax planning and estate planning or legacy planning. It has everything you need to know about your retirement plan and I want to get you a free copy. So how do you get a free copy? It's really easy. Just call the number on the screen. Come visit with us. Come on in for a free, no obligation financial planning review. And when you come in to get your planning reviewed, We'll give you a copy, your very own copy, this best-selling book, absolutely for free. Again, just call the number on the screen. I want you to get your free copy. I know that you're going to love it. Thanks for joining us this week on Retiring Well and coming back here. Uh, we're going to wrap the show up with what I think is a really uh, great conversation about helping you find the right advisor. My name is Art Canfield, one of the senior partners and financial advisors here. I'm joined this week with John Torbett, also financial advisor and senior partner with Centennial Wealth. And we're going to help you kind of make sense of how to find the right advisor. John, when I think of this search for an advisor, um, you know, you and I both like sports and all that, you know, you want to build a strong team around you. And to do that, you have to have the right person as coach, right? Oh, most definitely. And I'm, I'm a huge Michigan basketball fan. I hope we don't lose any viewers that are, <laughs> that are Spartan fans out there. But John Beeline, I, I think, has done a great job of bringing in different coaches to surround him where they may have had weaknesses. And so, as well as then to help build up the team. And so I think of, like with a financial advisor, Investments are most definitely important. Don't get me wrong that you want to be trying to get the most returns out of out of your money. But what about like we always talk about in the show? What about that estate plan? And and that's not something that we're licensed to be to be getting deep into. That's where estate planning attorneys and you want to find that specialist that really that's where their strength is and that's their expertise. You want to bring them in onto the team, right? Mm -hmm. um,
Yeah, so I mean, what I hear you saying too is just to, to come back is, you know, the head coach is, is really you in this right. area, right? It's, it's, it's Centennial Wealth is the head coach. And we understand we're not the end-all solution to all your, all your needs, right? Exactly. But there has to be somebody that's going to be the main contact so it doesn't have to be you, right? It, it most, most definitely. And that's where you want to have that person to, to be educated on it, to understand some of the basics, like when we talk about estate planning, wills, trust, what role they play. Uh, but you want to have that, that expert be brought in. And then when it comes to like tax planning, I mean, that's something that we've spent a lot of time understanding tax codes and how they, how they work. But we want somebody on the team that's going to be looking at that year after year uh, to know that you're trying to keep taxes to a minimum and then also for not only your lifetime but potentially passing to um, a spouse or family or whoever it may be you want to try and protect as much money as possible to keep in your pocket versus uncle Sam. right and what a great point too when it comes to taxes you know that the head coach us here and communicating with what's called the assistant coach with that tax person is vital you know they have to be have a direct communication to be working together to help continue to have that uh, the best outcome, right, to have that. Another um, coach or assistant coach I think that I think a lot of times overlooks for those folks is like that healthcare aspect. Sure. You know, whether that's healthcare prior to Medicare or having that assistant coach on the team that specializes in being able to assist you getting the right Medicare. Yeah, it, it's crazy to think of how healthcare has become one of the top top priorities for people when we're talking to them now and, and understanding sort of what their plan is prior to 65 if they if they don't have um, insurance or have stopped working prior to 65 and, and what that looks like and some of the challenges that they're really facing right now. But then from 65 on with Medicare, those different supplemental plans and, and how that can get really complicated. And you know, there's resources on TV that, that you can call the 800 numbers, but it we always find it's valuable to have somebody local that you can sit down face to face and have a conversation with them that really know what they're talking about. Right, and I think one of the, the most successful coaches I've ever seen in history are coaches that are, are willing to um, not have to do everything right I mean they not can they can't control the team and keep the stats and do all the track all this sort of stuff it's folks that are able to come in and build a strong support staff around them to assist the players right well and that's what makes teams so successful right I mean that's where where you you get championships is because there's a strong team and and you're you're led by a very very good coach that knows that Hey, this is this is where I'm going to help, but I'm going to have bring these people in to make sure that you're you're getting the best. Um, ultimately, is is the overall goal. Right, folks. If your financial advisor is part of a team, then great. But if not, and if they're trying to lead the the team on their own, help us build a winning retirement for you. Come in and talk to us. Schedule a meeting and let's talk about how we can help build that financial plan that brings in these other key important pieces into your retirement so you can be successful to you. Also, don't forget, read this great book by Michael Reese's newest book, Retiring Well, and get your free copy after coming in and talking to us. Have a great week.